Hey folks, Mike Rosso here, giving you a quick overview of how to load and shoot with the Keystone Model A7 16 millimeter film camera. The first thing you will notice is the front of the camera. There is a standard C mount lens. There are a lot of C mount lenses available on eBay in case your camera doesn't come with one. The lens that usually comes with the camera is a 25 millimeter lens it's a standard lens for this camera you have focusing and then you have your f-stops which you need to set the widest is f 1.5 it stops all the way down to f 16. this camera also has focusing so you will need to guesstimate your focus and i'll explain that in a second on the front of your camera there's a chart here that is for calculating your f-stop but because film stocks are very different than they were in the 1950s when this camera was made, you want to just do this. <laughs> and just, you don't want to look at that because it'll it'll mess you up because the the calculations it's giving you is based upon films that are no longer made and the ISO of films was so much lower back in the day. Uh, the thing to remember if you're a digital shooter and you're picking up a 16 millimeter or 8 millimeter camera is the ISO is set by the film you use. You cannot adjust the ISO. You adjust it by selecting what ISO film you'd like to shoot. And then once you load the film in your camera, that's the ISO you use for the entire roll of film. Shutter speed for this camera is very handy. The shutter is set at 1 30th of a second. So that's how you will calculate uh, your f-stop by putting the shutter speed, 1 30th of a second, with the ISO of your film in your light meter. And that will give you your calculation of what to set your f-stop at. This is your uh, eyepiece. So the important thing to know with this camera is on the back of the camera, this is where you will look through. That's your eyepiece, which goes through the camera to the front. And it's important to know that you're not looking through the lens. So this is not a single lens reflex. You cannot see focusing through your eyepiece. Also, if your lens happens to come with some kind of lens cap, let's say, just take it off and leave it at home because you could easily shoot with lens cap on because when you look through the eyepiece, you won't see that your lens is capped. Uh, also on the front is your shutter button. Um, the shutter button will only work if your camera is wound. So let's go to the side of the camera. I know this looks like something out of, I don't know what, but it looks really old, right? Maybe that's because it, it's really old. I mean, this is really old. Yeah. <laughs> I wound the camera. That makes that's the shutter button to run your film. Go back to the side. So you will wind your your camera until you kind of feel it getting okay. That's good enough. Over here on the side of the camera, this is your counter. So it'll start at start and then it'll go to end. And it's a very simple simple device. Let me show you. And here is this. Yeah, I'll show you. This is your take up, take up reel. <laughs> so this this lever simply sits on your film as it's being wound, and as your film winds to the take up roll, it goes like that. So this that lever is just connected to this. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You're starting here, start, and then by the time it's empty, so it's you know keep an eye on this. This is. A good thing it's pretty accurate so the normal frames per second that run through this camera for this camera would be 16 frames per second and it actually says normal it says normal 16 bottom of the camera tripod mount terrific this is your film compartment very important this is how you will load your camera. Modern film that you buy is, I don't know if you can see this, can you see it's single perfed, mm -hmm. single perf film, no good. So 
You cannot use single per film in this camera. And that's a very important thing to know. And you know that because here is where your film will go. And you're go I'm gonna show you. You're going to thread it through here. As you can see, there are two sets of teeth. Can, can you see? Mm -hmm. Two sets of teeth. Teeth. That's because this camera is only for double perforated film. Here is, here is, can you see that? Here is double perforated film. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're like, well, you know, I'm just going to put single per film. F it. I'm just going to put single per film through this camera. What could happen? Well, you know, I've seen what happens because folks have sent in film that they shot that they, they jam through their double perf camera and it's a waste of time and it's a waste of money because you will not, this will not go through the camera properly. So you need double perforated 16 millimeter film. It's readily available at the Film Photography Project. It will come on what's known as a daylight spool. That means you could load your camera in dim light. Uh, it's important to know that the film is on the reel and there are two sides to your film. There's the base side, which is this black side, and then there's what's known as the emulsion side, which is usually the lighter, co lighter colored dull side. It's important that the photosensitive side, the emulsion, faces out towards the lens because the light will be coming through your lens, hitting this side of the film and exposing your film. There are these two little doors, and that's, you open those up, very gently, no violence. If your keystone stops running or doesn't have enough torque, as you can see, all the horsepower is being driven right here. Look at that go, huh? I put one drop of light sewing machine oil on that gear. Because if your camera is not in good shape, or it's struggling to pull the film through, maybe it may need one drop of oil. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is take our film in dim light and put it on, properly seat it in the, the camera. Then there is a film path here. You see this arrow? Right there, an arrow. So feed it through the two sets of teeth and you can feel it catch you'll feel it catch now there it goes okay you'll feel it close the one door uh, it's very important when you do this to have like take a deep breath and have patience now we want to flip this like this remember emulsion side, dull side, facing the outer lens. This is the film gate. So this is the path your film travels when it is exposed. So we want to seat the film behind the film gate. And you'll feel it. Oh, there it is, clicking in. Yep, oh, I felt it click. Now, our door opened here, no good. Oh, can make reseat the door. Okay, and here you see what's known as a loop. And this is the little loop of film that the film must have in order to properly travel through the camera. So this side's kind of done. So let's do the same thing for the other side. Let's do this. Okay, that looks, that looks about right. So now that the film is threaded, let's just run few, you know, a few seconds through to see if it, if it, if it goes, so to speak. Here we go. Nice. All right. Now what to do? Well, your camera came with a take-up spool. It only fits one way. <laughs> Square. Square. The round, <laughs> the round isn't going to go on the square peg. There we go. On your take-up spool. And in order to get the square on the square peg, you need to uh, adjust your the film counter. Remember the old film counter? There it is. It has to be 
back so that this will fit nicely. Don't get upset. Oh, there it is. Whoa. All right, let's see if this works. Fantastic. Now, this may have seen like a major pain in the butt, but once you do this one or two times, it's a piece of cake. It's a simple film path. As you can see, the film is moving, moving properly through the gate. Look at that. And now you will take your lid, you will entomb your film, close. If you are shooting in the bright outside, like, you know, the sun, you want to take some black tape. This is black, light, tight tape. Light, tight tape is not cheap. Uh, we sell it at the filmphotographystore.com if you want it. I recommend everyone has it in their bag, whether you're shooting still photography or if you're shooting movie film. And here is the seam of your film compartment. If you're shooting in bright sun, you want to tape up the whole outside of the camera. This way you do not get any light leaks. And that's really it. You know, I shot a roll recently. I, I did have a few focusing issues. Whereas, you know, I set my focus, but it wasn't right on. So some of the shots are a little bit blurry. These cameras are fairly inexpensive on places like ebay.com. And there are lots of different films available, double perforated at the FPP. There's 500T, which is great for shooting indoors. There's 100D Ektachrome. There's 50D Negative, which is wonderful for outside. So that is all. The strongest muscle in the body is the tongue. Butterflies taste with their feet. Did you know that on average people fear spiders more than they do death? <laughs>